This section is about our LV SST solid state library data. How to enter a new manufacturer if you don't find the model in the library. In order to reach the LV SST library, you need to go to the main top toolbar, click on library, then go to trip device, then select solid state. A new window called solid state trip library will be open. You'll be able to see a list of manufacturers. You can scroll up and down to see all the manufacturers. You can select an existing one and go through the models. If the model does not exist, you can add it to the system like here. We're going to add a new manufacturer. There are some fields called essential data, like manufacturer name. In this case, we're going to call it New Manufacturer. The two fields, Reference and Links, are not essential data. But if you have the manufacturer references, you can add it. Select and type it in. You can now see New Manufacturer is added to the list. It will show as Unlocked Model. If you click on Add for adding the new model, you can type your own model name. Also, the model info is non-essential data. If you have the model reference, you can add that as well. If the model goes based on sensor or frame, you can select from the drop-down menu. Click OK, and you'll see that the new model has been added to the list. This is a sample of the manufacturer TCC. The bottom of the TCC providing the size and interrupting data. Clicking on Parameter, you can access the Solid State Library Parameters page. As you can see, there are different tabs. Add New Sensor, click on Add. Specify the sensor ID. Most likely, the sensor ID will equal the sensor amps. In this case, we'll enter 100 amp. For sensors that go with that plug, you can enter plug data. Keep in mind that you will have to use a colon to separate the different plugs. With long time, short time, instantaneous, override, and ground, you'll see it will change. Now I add long time or LT settings. As you know, SST has different sections. The first is long time. As you can see in this manufacturer TCC, this is your long time pickup. The long time pickup comes with pickup value and pickup tolerances. Sometimes it's discrete settings, like in this case. If you click on Add, you must enter a new label for this setting. I'm going to call this LT1, as in Long Time Band 1. You have to specify for multiple values. For example, this goes 0.5 times of your sensor and specify a minimum tolerance and maximum tolerance. Keep in mind for the minimum tolerance you need to use a negative sign or a minus sign. You also have to specify a multiplier which could be as a sensor or rating plot. The next level is long time band. Long time band can be specified as discrete or continuous. Click Add to enter the new long time band label. There are different LT bands. According to manufacturer information for this example file, you will have to see at what multiple the bands can be read. In most cases, manufacturers provide it at six times, or multiples of six.
Look at the minimum time and maximum clearing times at that multiple. Enter the data in seconds. Multiples of 6 in this case go between 5 and 20 or 30 seconds. I'll specify two points for you. Add the next long time band. In this case, you'll have three long time bands LT band 1, 2, and 3. They can be the same multiple, but in the minimum clearing and maximum clearing, they will be different. Next, we'll be adding the short time settings. Short time, very similar to long time. You have to enter the short time pickup. By default, it will show as a discrete setting. Put the label for short time the same as the one for long time. Specify a multiplier for that specific short time pickup. Specify the tolerance percentage for minimum and maximum. Keep in mind your percent tolerance for minimum. You need to use the minus sign to get to the negative value. You'll need to enter the short time band. Keep in mind the short time band can be entered as a horizontal shape and also as a slope shape as an I squared T in, like in this case. The minimum clearing is for short time band is 0 0.065 and the maximum clearing according to the manufacturer is 0 0.08. And just by clicking on add you can enter a new row. In order to enter the data you need to fully understand about the manufacturer. You have to have very good resolution on your TCC curves or sometimes the tolerances that come from the manufacturer key issues. So we need to look at the whole document in order to enter the complete information. As you can see, the short time band, if you check this box, there are new fields that are added to your list and you have to specify the short time band. You'll need to specify the short time band multiplier. For example, in this case, the short time band goes with a six times multiplier. And you have to select the minimum clearing and the maximum clearing times with respect to that six multiple. So by specifying these two numbers, you can have a slope shape for a short time band. If you check this box as a track pickup, the short time band will keep tracking based on the short time pickup. Whatever you set as a short time pickup is going to be your short time band. Make sure you select the right multiplier for your short time pickup. The next stage is adding instantaneous settings. The instantaneous is basically very simple. If you pick on the parameter there is a page called instantaneous. You'll need to specify the multiplier. In this case you, again you can also add it as a discrete or continuous.